Hi, and welcome to the Tarot Life Coach channel with me, your host, Tanya Melendez, Tarot Life Coach. What a week. First, before we start anything, I really want to take just a moment of just so much peace, blessing, and love for our dearly departed, gone too soon, Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston was one of my biggest mentors. I wanted to become a model because I had seen her on the cover of Seventeen magazine. So let's just take a moment here. I'm just putting my hands on my heart and asking God for peace and love for the Houston family, for her beautiful daughter, and just for all of her fans everywhere. I'm just knowing Whitney is at peace. Whitney is filled with love and Whitney is loved. I'm so grateful I got to have a life filled with her music, with her beauty, and just to see her shine. All right, so with that said, I definitely want to start out today with the Angel Therapy card. It has just been such a shock to so many around the world. And so today we're working with our Angel Therapy cards. And I really, again, I'm just, I'm feeling grateful for my life. I'm feeling grateful for everything because, you know, we truly are never promised another day. So make it your point this week, filled with love, with Valentine's Day, to really center yourself in love, center yourself in peace, and center yourself in, again, as we always say, in your passion. So I just picked three cards, and this is very appropriate. Um, I got the Goddess card, the first one, and it says, Express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. So embrace your inner goddess, ladies that are listening. Embrace that inner goddess that is within you. And this is also for the men. You know, really tap into your feminine side. Feel what you need to feel. See what you need to see with those feminine eyes. That does not make you feel emasculated, but it actually gives you more power because you are balancing both sides of yourself. And then our next one is shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. So again, if you are feeling any kind of down energy, anything that is not in alignment with your highest good, protect yourself with this healing light. And again, I, I really feel this card is for our beloved Whitney Houston. I got singing and dancing. Express yourself in awaking your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. So we know Whitney is with us. She gave us this message and told us to keep dancing, to keep going. So thank you, Whitney, for that message. You know you are loved by so many. So with that said, today's video will probably be a little bit shorter. Again, still getting my bearings here in Key West. It's beautiful here. Uh, it's gotten a little cold the last couple days, but we've got a lot of energy going on. Saturn is in retrograde. Mercury's coming up. Valentine's Day is tomorrow. And so we really need to focus in on that energy. What does Valentine's Day really truly mean to you? Is it about the giving and receiving of gifts? Is it a Hallmark holiday? Why don't you take tomorrow to just spread love to everyone, and I mean everyone, the plants around you, the animals, the food you eat, the water you drink, or anything that you drink. Tomorrow, be a love, be a love vessel, be a vessel of love, be a spreader of love. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and pick our three cards. Oh, and isn't this wonderful? Our first card is the lover's card. I don't think we've ever had that card you know, maybe it is talking about all this love. And so for this to be the beginning of the week, it is about the lovers, but it's also about partnership and union. So don't let fear stop you from moving forward and wanting to be in a love relationship. If you have any, any, any old energy that needs to be cleared from a past relationship, now is the time to do it. Let go of the past. Walk into your newness. Walk into the love that you are, the love light and shine brighter than you've ever shown before. I'm really asking everyone to up their ante with this love. If you're sending love to Whitney Houston, send that love also to yourself and extending that to her family, to your family, to your friends. So let this week really, really, truly be about love. 
And then our next card is the Four of Cups. And so what this is telling me is what we're all at this place of seeking, wanting more, wanting to understand why, how does life work. And if you look closely, there's a hand coming out of the cloud. So this is telling me that God is giving us the answers. We have to be ready to receive them. We have to be open. So again, openness and allowing. Openness and allowing the energy of love to flow through you and as you. And then our last card we get is the moon card. So very interesting. This is telling me that a lot of us are needing more sleep, but also we're having very deeply intuitive dreams. So allow your dreams to be your guide. Listen and really pay attention to any symbols and signs that you see. I know before I went to bed last night, I was watching the Grammys. And of course, who did I dream about this morning? It was Whitney Houston and Adele, because Adele did an astonishing job. And so really pay attention to your, your, your dreams this week. That moon is telling us our intuitive side is being called forth. And so again, I just really want to extend love light to every single person who is hearing my voice, knowing that you have heard the message that you need to hear. So fall in love, be in love with yourself, be in love with everyone around you. Let go of any resentment, any fear, anything holding you back, because now is the time to center in love. Center in light, center in your beingness. Again, listen to your dreams, allow them to flow through you and record any ideas or thoughts that you see that have come through your dreams. And also really tap into that feminine side. Your feminine side is really wanting to come out and so is your intuitive side, which is part of your, intu your feminine side. So really pay attention to signs and signals. I know I've been seeing triple digits, three, 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 four, 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 one, one, one. So really pay attention to those. If there's something that you keep getting a repeat number or you keep hearing the same song or something, maybe it is your angels trying to get your attention. So pay attention. I know I've had a lot of ringing going on in this left ear, which is usually in my right ear. So I know there's a lot, a lot of shifting going on right now. And so with that said, until next week, peace and blessings. Make sure you check out my radio show with Ron Ash on Thursdays at 11. That's Eastern Standard Time. Also, check out my new newsletter, Magic and Motivations. Check it out. See what's new, how to clear your chakras, and it's got tarot tips and all kinds of wonderful things for manifesting miracles. So, again, until next week, just so much peace and blessing. Happy Valentine's Day to all. I love you all. I'm grateful for you all. Thank you.